What's up? Welcome to Learn How. This is Andy from LearnHowGroup.com. You're watching another video, part of my series, 30 Apps in 30 Days. If you're new to Learn How, we're creating video tutorials to help people learn how to use technology to improve their lifestyle. I'm also playing games, reviewing apps, uh, like I said, doing tutorials about how to build an online business, all sorts of different things. I just want to share information with you to do things that are going to help you improve your lifestyle. In this video, we're going to be talking about Fandango. This is a movie app for buying movie tickets that I personally use to buy all of my movie tickets and I use it for a few other really cool things which I'm going to talk about in this video. But guys, if you like what you see in this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. I love to hear from you guys. I love to hear your feedback. I want to give a shout out in this video to Amal. Thanks so much for leaving a comment on one of our videos and watching it. It really means a lot to me. Let's get right to the app, Fandango. I'm going to open it right here on my iPhone and I got links in the description below this video that'll take you right to the app in your app store so you can download it for free. All right, so one of the coolest things, in my opinion, about the Fandango app, apart from being able to buy movie tickets from a variety of theaters, is the fact that I can see some like review and information kind of stuff about movies that are coming. So I can see right here from the movies tab, I can see movies that are opening this week. I can see movies that are coming soon. This is where I see like, oh, they're making another Incredibles movie. I mean, they've already done previews for this movie, but like if you scroll down far enough, you can see like movies that you did not know or might not have known about. Like, oh, Mulan, Mary Poppins Returns. Um, let's see, I've seen previews for a lot of the Mission Impossible 6. They, they put a lot of like movie gossip stuff in the app. So like if they hear that a movie's coming out, uh, they're going to throw it in this coming soon section. But yeah, back to in theaters, you can see what's opening this week. You can see what's now playing. So if you want to like see a little bit more about a very specific movie, you can click on it here and then see annoying pop ups. But if you close that, you can see some stuff about the movie. So like Greatest Showman, I can see what times it's showing at all nearby theaters. So all the different theaters nearby, I can see what times it's showing and I can reserve my tickets right then. I can choose a different day if I want. I can see some review info here. So like fan ratings, Rotten Tomatoes. I hate the Rotten Tomatoes review for this movie because I loved The Greatest Showman. If you love The Greatest Showman, leave a comment below this video and back me up on that one. But yeah, you can you can schedule the, the movie right here. So like, I really want to see The Greatest Showman. I can find out which theaters it's showing at and go and click a time. And then um, if it's available, I can choose how many tickets I want. So let's see. Oh, $5 Tuesday. Um, number of tickets, just one. Choose seats. And I can reserve my seat right here in the app click next, go through, put in your payment, all that kind of stuff. And if you have like Apple Pay or, or Google Pay, I think they call it now, uh, and you have a card saved on your phone, you can use that to pay. It's, it's seriously so easy. And then you get like the QR code that you can add to your Apple wallet, or you can get an email. And then you just go to the kiosk at the theater and punch in the confirmation code. It's, it's seriously so easy, guys. But I want to go back to um, oh, here at the bottom of the screen, the other thing that I use all the time is theaters. So if I know what specific movie I want to go see, then I can go to the movie section and click on it and find the theater. Or if I have a theater that I always go to, so like I like to really go to a Cinemark nearby because they have the uh, luxury loungers. So that's Cinemark University Mall. So I can just click on a specific theater and see all the movies and times for that specific theater. So I can scroll down and see all the different movies that are showing at that theater. And it's kind of late as of filming this, so you can see a lot of the times are kind of full. But yeah, so I can see all the times for a very specific theater. So I kind of like to do this first and see like, okay, my favorite theater, 
Um, let's see what movies they got. Let's see what times. And if those times are sold out or full, then I'll go to the movies section, click on the movie, and then go through all the different theaters until I find a time that works best for me. Another cool thing about Fandango is that you can get some cool rewards. So when you buy movie tickets through Fandango, yeah, you are going to get hit with like a service fee, but you'll get hit with that on a lot of different apps and, and online services. Uh, instead of going to the theater and buying your ticket, yeah, you're going to get hit with a fee for being able to buy it and reserve it from your phone. But it's, it's, it's really a convenience fee and it really is convenient. So I don't really mind, but I get uh, some gifts and stuff from fandango so like uh i bought tickets to star wars and then i got like i got a free star wars poster from fandango and then like sometimes they'll give you like free song downloads from the soundtrack and like uh all sorts of like coupons and stuff like that for using the app which can be kind of nice um so yeah like you can buy a gift card to send to someone uh, a Fandango gift card that they can use just like they would like a movie gift card, which is cool. And then you got your account so you can kind of see like if you have like a card linked and, you know, change like all sorts of information. I can see here's all my past purchases. So you can see all the weird movies that I've gone and seen. That's the Fandango app. You can also, one last thing, is for a lot of movies, you can see the preview too. So like if you see here on The Greatest Showman, there's a little play button. I can click on the play button and see a preview for the movie right there in the app. So that's another really cool feature. All right, guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. Let me know, like I said, if you love The Greatest Showman or if you hate it, I don't care if you hate it because I loved it but let me know what movies you're seeing. I'm always looking for a good movie to go to. So if you got any recommendations, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos in our 30 apps in 30 days. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video.